Hi, it's Tommy Toodles here today and I'm going to be doing a Nerf unboxing of the Nerf um, XD Elite Retaliator. Now, um, starting off with the front of the box, right here it says it's a 4 in 1 gun, right there. And then these are the, these are the pictures, which just shows it can be. Um, it can be a lip pistol, it's a machine gun, let's call it. So a shotgun -y thing and a well just the gun it is. Um it has a twelve round magazine as you can see right there. It's um it's got a grip, barrel a barrel extension stock attachment uh, and you have to pull that back to load it um uh, or reload however you want to call it. Um, goes 27 meters, as you can see in the front of the box. Box. Um. Um. 69 percent of the darts, it will go up to 26 or 30 meters. Then 31 percent will go down to 26 and down. Um. That's pretty much it for the moment, so let's just get on with unboxing it. Oh yeah, and it's a elite gun, as you can see, just there. Oh yeah, and the bottom says also Demolisher 2-in-1 and Rampage. Pretty much it. This is the knife is, isn't it? Um, now let's just unbox it. Okay, let's see what I do this. Aha, right. One, this one bit of tape here. Not trust for life. Aha! Oh, I'll just uh, Okay, so let's see what comes out. Okay, so there's the stock. Here are the darts. Then there's the main part of the gun. And then, so here it is. Oh, there's some instructions. Why not use that? Oh, and it's eight and over. And there you go. Right. Okay. So, um, which bit should we take off first? I'll just take off the stock. Okay, to try not to damage the gun. And any, you know, I don't want to get into my hands. Uh, so here's the stock. It was very comfortable. Um, this is on the sofa. Uh, here's, actually, I need to leave that to the end. Oh, there's the magazine. It's just been put underneath the paint. Hoping I'm not damaging. Okay, oh, wait, no, sorry, that's actually part of the gun. Um, aha, okay, here we are. I found out. So here's the full grip. Oh, I'm very comfortable. Yeah, put that to the side. Uh, barrel. Here. Oh, the, the, the bullets just fit, fit in there. Just fit through. Sorry, folks. The, the barrel, it, barrel is also spiralled so the bullets go sp straighter. Oh, oh yeah, as you can see. I don't think you probably can't see it. But, yeah. um, uh, then here's the... Ah! There we go. And then here are the darts, which we already know because they're elite. So we have plenty of those. And then the actual gun itself. Okay, so wow. It's cool. Okay, oh so I think I have to prime this back and it and you put out the wow. Very, very chunky gum. Um, oh yeah, and then let's just see if the, the Spectre 5 
barrel attaches to it. Ha! So you can have it like that. It will decrease range. Okay, let's load up the gun. I and I am going to do a firing test. So this video probably is taking a long time because it's quite a big gun. So uh, no one go falling out. I'm not gonna skip any of this. This is no reason why. And the gun sounds like it has plenty of power. Any storage room? Yeah, some storage room. So there should be 13 darts. It's a very cool Nerf blaster, and uh, it's a remake of the Nerf. One, two, three, uh, recon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's disappointing. It doesn't come with 13 bullets, which it needs. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, so. It's oh, alright, I have elite bullets, but I'm fine. Haha! <laughs> Is it in pistol mode? It just does some oozy sort of thing. Oh, well, it's called uh, attach the barrel onto the end. So yeah, I just want to have the screw there. Um okay. Aha, perfect. Oh that's nice and stable. Oh it works still on top of me. Hmm. Things seem to be going what are you doing wrong? Well, there we go, you said to put it. Um okay, so it's loaded. Uh here's a stock. Can you help me? Yeah, you hold the camera. Okay, here's the gun. Don't fire it. Okay. Don't fire, don't fire, don't fire. Oh, it's not on properly. You need to pull it back, I believe. You can have it anyway, you can adjust it. Nice, now don't fire. Here you go, thank you very much. Oh wow, that is lovely. Okay, now let's do a fire test of it. Let's drop the Simpsons going in the background there. Oh wow. Oh wow, it's good, it's a very straight line. Yeah. Wow. Jump there. Oh. Sorry, I tried to do rapid fire and failed. I have a jam. Oh, that. <laughs> Sorry, but I had a bit of a jam there, but that's my fault because I was trying to do rapid fire. And so these end dry attachments are. And the uh, what one con about it is that if you're running along, you could fall over, jog, you could get out of where you would want it. So anyway, yeah, still, it's a very cool gun. And I forgot to mention about the jam door. It's this little black thing here, but it only seems to open when you have a jam, so I'm not going to force that. So that's happily sitting there. Um, and overall, I think it's a great gun. I always recommend it. And um, bye bye.